Welcome back to Specialty Shot. The pro course coming up has a couple of surprises for us, and not all of them are going to be pleasant surprises. We're in for a bit of an uphill battle, as this uh, graphic would suggest. <laughs> Let's see, the first hole is called Bridge, but gasp, there's no bridge. Actually, this hole shows us the other application of the on-off button that we've already seen. We've already seen that the on-off switches turn water on and off, but it also turns bridges off and on. And I've got to line this up correctly. Because of that bunker there, I've got to use a uh, chip shot to bounce over the sand while at the same time as I hit the button. So you just saw it, it turned on the bridge. And unfortunately I missed the power shot and the hole. Not a proud day for me. But this is not a bad location to make the second shot from. Even if I totally miss the hole, I can at least uh, get real close for the third shot. Spin doesn't matter, but I want to be careful here. And I'm in the hole! So that was a good opening to the pro course. We're two under already. If we do that just four more times, we've got the eight under we need. So next up is the second hole. Shoot? It's just called Shoot? What kind of whole name is that? So we're gonna get a new obstacle here, and we've got those annoying blue puddles to deal with. Whatever you want to call them. So this new obstacle, I'm not sure what it's called, but I'm just gonna call it the Green Shooter, or just the Shooter. Anyhow, it's gonna shoot us over that gap towards the hole. That is what it is made to do. We just have to get over this hill without touching the blue blob first. Oh yeah, and you know, I'm going to use top spin to ensure that I get over the hill. And you actually don't need to time it and land in the green thing, because it comes to you. Whenever you hit that yellow bar, the green thing just throws you into the water, excuse me. That wasn't very nice of him. Thanks, you jerk, you threw me into the water. I think it's... I think the shooter just aims you for the hole without caring if it's going to actually get you in the hole or not. But still, one under is pretty good. It was a nice recovery getting out of the water like that. Next up is a hole that kind of uh, reaffirms my theory that a lot of the course design was based around shoot first and don't worry about what's going to actually happen until you land somewhere. Because, you know, you have to go down that slide and you have to, like, swing all the way around here using the momentum you get from the slide towards the hole. But the problem is, like, I'm gonna see if it's possible to line up a shot, like, straight to where the hole is from here. It's not gonna work. <laughs> so I decide not to try that. I instead just point towards the slide and go full power. There's a problem with doing that, however, because now I have way too much speed and I've overshot it. Why there isn't a barri barrier there is something I will never know. But oh well. Probably should have reset just to get rid of the one-stroke penalty. So this time I don't use all my power, and this time... Oh, that was a... That was a bit of a weird shot. Probably should have gone a little wider than that. Now I'm in the bunker. So, the big question, do I want either of these two power-ups, or do I just want to go for the hole? Well, what I eventually decided was, I think I'm going to need a special shot in the next hole to make up for the out-of-bounds penalty that I got in this uh, hole, so that's what I eventually go for. I don't think there's any way to easily make it into the hole from here. So I'll have to get a little closer anyhow. Oops, I put a little backspin on it, but that's fine. Maybe it'll still go in the hole. Nah, it's on its way. Maybe with a little top spin, I would have gotten it. So this is a pretty easy shot into the hole. Par is okay with me. We've still got five holes to go. Plenty of time to make up those shots. So, in the fourth hole, there's going to be a new obstacle, but we're going to ignore it because I have the special shot. 
candy, huh? Yeah, that thing. That little glass panel. You're gonna find out what it does in a couple of holes, so don't worry. I'm just going to use the special shot for an easy hole-in-one here, because I have to use it anyways. Because if I weren't using it, like, how would I get onto the glass panel to show what it does? Just aim a little bit to the left there, and boom. I love the special shot. That is the best part of any... <laughs> that is the best thing in any golf game I've ever, ever played, to be honest. So 500 and we have four holes to go. Next up is the Alps. Let's do our best not to find a stranger in it. I mean, come on, that was the obvious joke, wasn't it? So, uh... We have the on-off switch, it's gonna turn on a bridge for us, and we have to use that slide to get towards the hole. So here we go, just gonna shoot first and worry about what to do afterwards later. Ah, uh, that looks good, that looks good. I got the power shot. Oh, that was so close to being a hole-in-one, though. That's kind of unfortunate whenever you, like, just hit the rim of the hole like that. That's always annoying. I don't know if there's any way to get to the hole like that without picking up too much speed. It's probably impossible. The next hole is called Glass Shoot. <laughs> uh, interesting. We have a power shot, but we're not going to use it here. I can get to that green shooter from here with just a putt. And you're gonna find out what the glass uh, panel there does. What it does is that it's pretty much just like a trampoline, except you can hit this one from underneath as well as bouncing onto it. That's gonna be important in a future hole. Boom! Oh, and I just barely missed the hole again. Something tells me that green shooter has it in for me. <laughs> Look at it. It's so suspicious looking with its mouth shape. Oh yeah, and I just noticed that after hitting the glass panel, my ball was sparkling. Which, I don't know if it if that gives it the same property that the uh, special shot has. Where if you just touch the hole, then you're instantly in. But, I, I suppose... Well, I don't think I tested it in any of my recordings, so... I'll have to see if... I'll, I'll check it out on my own time, maybe. Okay, so we have a power shot, and, th and this is probably going to be the best place to use it. Uh, I'm not too sure if I can aim at the hole without bouncing on the sand. That's going to slow me down a little. But maybe it'll work out. We'll see. Just got to adjust a little bit. The fact that the, uh, that the line guide goes off the screen is kind of annoying because you have to keep checking every time you move the cursor. So, let's hope this works. Oh, it's going, it's going, and it's gone! <laughs> I had no idea if that would actually work, but it's a good thing it did, because now we're 8 under. Well, we're 9 under, but we got the 8 under we needed. So we just need to make par on the final hole, and we're good to go. The Hill Climb! This is a pretty interesting hole, actually. There are lots and lots of power-ups, but just getting a power-up doesn't uh, instantly make you able to finish the hole in one swift shot, because it's too high for even the power shot to get all the way up there in one shot. And if you get the special shot, there's lots and lots of walls, barriers to stop you, so you've got to use the power-ups to climb your way upwards, which is really kind of an interesting thing. So I'm going to get the special shot. And on this shot, what I'm going to do is, I've got the special shot, so I'm going to, well, I think if I did get that power shot, and then, like, what I'm about to do is uh, jump up to where the hole is, like this. And that's unfortunately going to be an unused power shot, because why would I ever want to use it? I'm so close to the hole. And with those two barriers in the places they were, I don't think there's any way for the special shot to make it all the way into the hole. So that's an interesting hole design, I think. And that is that for the pro course. 
We are 10 under. That is not bad at all. So, next up on Special Tee Shot will be the Master Course, and then we'll see if the game has any more surprises for us afterwards, because it looks like the Master Course is the final course, but, you know, there's always a surprise with these games. It's a Nintendo game from, like, the 90s. They know how to surprise us.